Jordan from BE here again, and we're going to talk about our leader logic. So the best way I wanted to illustrate that is I actually wanted to run through my top five setups for offshore fishing here in San Diego, how I rig them up, um, using my Seaguar fluorocarbon, and how we got these set up. So let's dive into it, and we'll kind of go from lightest setup to our heaviest over here on this side. And the first thing that we have that I'm taking out on every single offshore trip is uh, this is what I call my paddy setup. So this is just perfect for paddy, yellowtail, dorado. It's an eight foot rod that's rated at I believe 20 pounds. Um, and we have our accurate turn 400 on here. And the way that I spool this up is I have, um, I believe it's 50 pound braid in here as kind of your backing. And then I actually run about 25 yards of mono just to give me a little bit more flexibility. Uh, the rod's pretty flexy as well. So this is just really an ideal setup for uh, for paddy hopping out here in San Diego. Leader wise, what we have is right here and I use a uh, double surgeon's loop to tie from my mono and down to my leader size. So right now this is running 25 mono down to my 15 pound Seaguar gold label, which um, especially I've really found from like 15 to 40 pound, the gold label is my absolute favorite. It ties really well. Uh, it's really, really thin diameter, really good underwater stealthiness. So um, like right now, this is set up for Dorado that we're picky. So we got, uh, call it probably about a five foot fluorocarbon leader. And that is on just a small one knot J hook. Again, kind of throw a uni or a clench knot or a, a San Diego, whatever your go-to kind of leader to hook is. So, that's our first setup that's going out again almost every single trip all right my second go-to setup and this is really i'd say the workhorse of the fleet i mean this literally goes on every single trip uh it double duties even as my rock cod setup but um the way that i have it right now and for offshore applications this is my tried and true go-to live bait setup it is a seven foot uh, 30 pound rotted 30 pound rated seeker rod paired with a Talica 10 and it is loaded full of 65 pound Seaguar thread lock braid. The way that I set these up when I'm live bait fishing leader wise is typically, and what I'll do is I like to run my leader about the length of the rod. So seven foot in this case, it looks like I probably tied it on about eight foot. I do a RP connection knot. And again, I got about seven feet of Seaguar, 30 pound. Again, for 15 to 40, this is really the go-to application for live bait. And we have a two-aught live bait hook, circle hook, tied on there with a uni or clinch knot or San Diego jam knot, whatever your go-to is. So again, this is really the tried and true of the of the fleet this is perfect for it doubles as paddy fishing right it's great for that uh, but really for that smaller size tuna uh, the 15 to 25 pound yellow fin the smaller blue fin uh, this has really really been a great 30 to 40 pound uh, on my leader size stick all right so my next setup is actually my heavy live bait setup so this is perfect, uh, especially when I'm going on an overnight or a multi-day trip. This is perfect for heavier live bait applications, uh, sardine sinker rigs, as well as it really doubles well for my nighttime platform rig. So I have an accurate Valiant 800 on here loaded with 100 pound braid, threadlock braid. And that is paired with a seven foot heavy, extra heavy uh, seeker rod. And then what I like to do for my live bait in the heavier, bigger fish situations is I actually like to run a longer leader. So as you can see, this is probably about a 15 foot leader. And at this point, this is 80 pound tied on here. So that'll go from anywhere between, it really 80 to 100 pound is kind of my typical leader on this. And when I get into those heavier fish, uh, those bigger fish applications, the blue label is where it's at. This is tried and true. Um, this for me, again, kind of 80 and up. 
is really the absolute go-to fluorocarbon that we have tied on. So that is my heavier live bait setup. All right, so switching gears a little bit, let's talk about my casting setup. So what I have here, and I know the first thing you're probably gonna notice is that it's a spinning setup, and I know the stigma with the West Coasters, the coffee grinder, but if you haven't fished one of the new style ones, like what I have here is a Stella 5000. This thing has loads of torque and drag, uh, and just buttery smooth. It makes casting super easy. I have that paired with a eight foot uh, Seeker Tactic Rod. This thing's been really, really awesome and pulled on some big fish. So uh, this is my absolute go-to setup for throwing stick baits, poppers. Uh, when it comes to surface iron, I'll still stick with the jig stick because it's fun. Uh, but what we have here is we are loaded up with 65 pound threadlock braid. And then leader wise, what we run is a little bit shorter because again uh, a little bit shorter and a little bit heavier so we have call it about a four or five foot leader in this case i think this is a 60 pound blue label on here that's really on the small side or the light side typically what i'll run because it's again it's less uh, stealthiness like you need in a live bait application and more that abrasion resistance and strength I'll typically run 80 pound or 100 pound Seaguar Blue Label. I really, really like this for the heavier, bigger game applications. This has been my tried and true leader. So uh, with the casting setup, again, a little bit shorter, a little bit heavier, uh, gonna give you that protection without needing so much of the stealthiness that you need in a live bait stick. All right, last but definitely not least, and what we've been getting a lot of use out of the last couple of years, is our big tuna setup here. Uh, we've been so blessed. I don't think it comes to surprise to anyone. These fish, these big bluefin that we've had in our local waters has been so special. So this thing has really gotten a lot of use. Uh, for my setup, I absolutely love this. It is a Seeker uh, rail rod style two by four paired with my accurate ATD 30. Um, I also have a 50 if we're skipping the yummy and we need just that excessive crazy amount of line capacity. But for the flying fish program, which we've been doing so much of, this 30 is so awesome. It's so good in your hands. It feels really, really nice for pulling on these big fish. So the way that we rig them and that we set them up is we have 130 pound thread lock, big, heavy braid in here. And then we tie a bimini twist or you can splice it in as well. But in this case, we just have a bimini twist in here with a wind-on leader for a loop-to-loop -loop connection that we built out. And we have a 150 pound blue label fluorocarbon. It's about 20, 25 feet long, uh, which kind of does a couple things for us. With that loop-to-loop, -loop, we can actually tie, and you can see my indicator buried in there. We can tie our indicator on there, and it's always at like that 20 foot mark off the water, which is really ideal as well as I like having this extra fluorocarbon leader because in case they get tail wrapped, something like that, you get that extra durability, uh, that extra protection out of that leader that we have on here. I have this crimped to a snap swivel. Definitely always wanna go with crimping on these heavy situations, these heavy big fish, they're mean, they pull hard. You wanna have that crimp protection. And then our snap swivel uh, we have on there, that way we can clip on and off our flyer rigs so as you can see here crazy 300 pound um, 300 pound line big 10 knot 11 knot j hook big extra heavy uh, treble on the back and this is our frozen flyer setup again it's nice because we, we're flying this off the kite so we got it up out of the water so we don't need that that line invisibility but we do need that extra protection that extra strength which is why we're going with again sticking with the blue label and uh, Seaguar really has us covered and it's been so awesome to fish these. So that is our big tuna setup. All right, so that is our top five kind of go-to setups for offshore fishing here in San Diego, uh, as well as breaking down a little bit of that leader logic, you know, why and when and how we're using and setting up uh, our leaders on all these sticks. So again, the gold label, 15 up to 40 pound has just been an absolute killer for us here especially for our live bait setups. And then when we get into the bigger stuff and we get into those bigger tuna, uh, Blue Label has been tried and true, absolute go-to. So thanks guys, and hopefully you learned something.